Hey, what's up? You're watching Dave, the hearing aid guy. My name is Dave and I'm a hearing professional with plus 20 years of experience in fitting hearing aids. And today I want to talk a little bit about the upcoming Sony OTC hearing aids because, well, everybody's talking about them. So I'm doing it too, of course. But before I do that, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my new videos coming up. So Sony is entering the OTC market with two hearing aids, the Sony CRE C10 and the Sony CRE E10. And the C10 is a CIC hearing aid, it's already available and it comes with a size 10 battery, it's not rechargeable, it does not feature Bluetooth, in fact it can be controlled with the Sony hearing aid app where you can adjust the volume and the hearing programs and Sony says it goes for 70 hours with one size 10 battery. Well, we'll see if that's true or not. But when we have a look at the hearing aids, we see, okay, it looks pretty close to an Ergo 6, but it's nearly an identical twin to a Signia Silk prescription hearing aid. And it's also very, very, very close to the Vibe hearing aids which have been sold in the US for a short time. But if you check the Vibe homepage now, it's only sold in the Eastern Asian countries and in Switzerland. So it seems like WS Audiology, that's a company who sells those hearing aids, which is basically Widex and Signia. So they focus more on the Eastern Asian market and Switzerland with the Vibe hearing aids and seem to enter the US market with the Sony OTC hearing aid, which is quite interesting, at least in my opinion. And second hearing aid that's coming up is the Sony E10. And it's a little different to the C10. It's much bigger, it has an earbud design, it's rechargeable, it features Bluetooth, it features direct streaming to Apple devices, and of course you can control it with the Sony app, you can control the volume, hearing programs, microphone directionality, all those things. But we can see that these two hearing aids have two different target markets. The C10 focuses on customers who want the small, small hearing aids, hardly noticeable hearing aids. And for that small size, they skip uh, fancy stuff like Bluetooth or rechargeability all they focus on is a small design. While the E10 has the earbud design, it looks pretty close to a Chabra Enhanced Plus, which is in fact a resound hearing aid. And it's also, again, nearly identical to the Signia Active or Active Pro hearing aids, which were introduced last year. So I'm also quite interested how they will sound if there's a difference to the Signia hearing aids. We'll see, so please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my reviews of the Sony OTC hearing aids. See you next time. Bye.